today's video, we're gonna take a look at DyneMap, a Minecraft plugin which allows you to add a Google Maps-like map to your Minecraft server. It is really cool, extremely easy to install, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how it all works. So before we start, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. A very big part of my viewers who regularly watches my content is still not subscribed. So do me a favor, check that subscribe button down below, make sure it's pressed, and then without any further ado, let's add I've right into this. So the first step, of course, will be going to the Dyne Maps Pick an MC page. A link can be found down below. Simply click on download now. After that, go to your Minecraft server directory, look for the plugins folder, and simply drag Dyne Map inside. Then after rebooting your Minecraft server inside of the console, it should say something like Dyne Map enabled. If that is what it says, then you know it is working. Now the next step will probably be the most difficult. If you're hosting local host, you don't really have to worry about this. But if you're hosting your Minecraft server at a Minecraft server hosting company, you need to make sure you have access to a second port. Now, I'm hosting my Minecraft server at Alienhost. They have been a channel partner for a while now, and they offer very powerful Minecraft servers with dedicated hardware. So if you want to check them out, I will leave a link down below. And if you use code Kasasura, you can save a whole 20% off your first order. But if you are hosting at Alienhost, then one of the tabs on the left of your screen will say Network. If you click on there, you will see that I currently have one out of five allocations of this server, meaning that I can create four more. So we're simply gonna create a new allocation, just like that, and this will be my secondary port. So we want to copy that, then go back to your Minecraft server directory, after that to your plugins folder, and then go inside of your DyneMap folder. Inside of the DyneMap folder, you wanna look for the configuration.txt file. Simply open it up, and then the very first thing you want to do is specify your storage type. So currently it is using file tree storage. And this is something I would not really recommend. You can use it. So if you leave it default, it is fine. But what I would actually recommend is using an SQLite database or a MySQL database, whichever one you prefer. But for the simplicity of this video, I'm simply gonna use an SQLite database. So in front of line 30, I'm simply gonna type a hashtag to disable it, and then I'm gonna remove the hashtag in front of line 32, which enables the SQLite database. Okay, perfect. Now next, what you're gonna do is scroll down all the way to line 350. Why is this so low? I have no clue. But on line 350, you got the web server port and this port you want to replace with the port you have available at your hosting provider so for me it is 25541 now i'm simply gonna save the file again and then once again restart the minecraft server now after that what you want to do is copy the ip address of your minecraft server so for me this will be the ip address and this will be the port but instead of this port that I used to join the server, we're gonna use the secondary port that we just linked to DyneMap. So this is what we're gonna type in in the browser, then we're gonna press enter, and there we go. This is our live map. Now you will see absolutely nothing here, so you might be really confused. Now this red line you see over here, this is actually my world border, and this here is my spawn location. Now right now you won't see anything yet. But when we now join our Minecraft server, and and we start to jump around a little bit. Look at me jumping around, having the best time of my life. Then you will see that slowly the map will start appearing. Also, you will now see me on the map. Now, obviously, uh, th this looks awful. We can see some chunks, we can see others. We even have some land outside of the border right now. But I would actually love to see everything inside of the border. <laughs> That would help. But luckily for us, DyneMap has a couple of commands that you can use to make sure that more tiles will appear inside of DyneMap. Now, if you use the command slash DyneMap render, it will only render the chunk or the tile you're currently standing in. That is, of course, not very helpful if you want to generate the whole world or at least a big part of it. What you can also do is use the slash DyneMap fill render command. So if I would do slash DyneMap fill render and then world, it will attempt to render all the maps of this world, the world called world. Now you might be wondering, are there multiple maps from world? Yes, I will show you that in a second. Now the command I'm going to execute in a little bit is slash DyneMap radius render 500. 
So this basically means that in an area 500 blocks around me, so not spawn, but around me, it will start generating tiles. So when we now press enter, render of 500 blocks radius starting on world called world. And over here, it will now give you updates on which tiles it has already rendered. And when we now go back to our world map, you can see that a lot more stuff is rendered now. That is beautiful. Nice. So now everything inside of my world border and even outside of it has been rendered. Now you can see it is still a little glitchy. From my experience, they will mostly disappear over time when just more stuff is rendered in general. Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's not just one map. No, no, of course not. There is a lot more. So when you force your mouse to the right side of your screen, like bam, it will open a menu. And over here, you will be able to select the world and what type of map you want to see from that world. So currently, we're looking at the normal world map. The flat world map, so to say. But just like with Google Maps, there's also a surface map, which kind of is a 3D map. And then there is a cave map, which actually allows you to see cave systems. So if we will now click on surface, this is what you will see. Now, this is extremely impressive. You literally have a 3D view of the world. So you can see a beautiful river here. You can see all the trees. You can see that over here behind this tree is the spawn point. This is where I'm standing right now, which is completely accurate with where I currently am in the game. Over here, there's an air balloon. Even the shadow is generated. That is impressive stuff. Now, if you want to cancel a render, we can of course do slash dine map cancel render. There we go, it is canceled. So let's now visit the nether, there we go. And now I'm going to execute this same command, die map radius render 500. And now we will start generating it for the world, world nether. And when we now go back to the nether map after it's finished rendering, you can see it is a complete mess, just like the nether should be. <laughs> So we got a 500 by 500 block completely rendered here in the nether map. And of course, we can also choose for the surface option and we will have a 3D render of the nether. And look, there's my nether portal that I just created and I'm standing over here somewhere. That is very cool. That is really, really impressive. And then this will be all for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching. Do make sure to smash that subscribe button if you've not done so yet. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.